Here, Brewing Company here. Welcome to my beer library where I do beer reviews, a beer vlog. I also brew beer right over there. Today, we're going to be doing a, uh, a review or a vlog on a new beer for me. It's not new, actually. This has been uh, the first time I got it this year. Great Lakes Brewing Company Commodore Perry India Pale Ale from Great Lakes. Great Lakes is in Ohio, so am I. So. What's this? A British style IPA named after the man who defeated His Majesty's Royal Navy in the War of 1812? Consider this a bold, hoppy, and mildly ironic plunder of war. Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, let's see. Uh, Commodore Perry, 7.7% alcohol volume, 70 IBUs. So, let's go ahead and give this a go here. I'll let you look at the bottle. Don't worry. Here's the cap, though. Oh, all their caps are the same. For all of their uh, stuff. Okie dokie. A lot darker than I actually remember it being. Um, the last time I had this was actually last year. So. Smells hoppy. There you go. So it's like a, uh, like an amber red color. Tastes very hoppy. So it tastes very hoppy. And it tastes very beer-like. Um, what I mean by that is, you know, like you get a beer, like a, an Oktoberfest, you know, it has that straw, wheat, beer taste. You get the hops, and then you get that. So you get hops, and then you get straight beer taste, um, which is why that the alcohol level is so high is because you can taste the beer in it. Some beers you get the flavor, but you can't taste the alcohol content. Um, this one is uh, it's a higher beer con alcohol content, so you can taste the alcohol in it. Um, but it doesn't; it's not up offsetting or anything like that. Um, it just has an after flavor of beer. Uh, the hops, the it has a lot of depth in those flavors, um, so the hops taste really good. Um, and you can when you drink it, if you drink it slow enough, you can actually kind of pick out like two different hops in there, um, or two different flavors, if you will. So you get like a more sour, and then you get more like a acidic, uh, kind of two different ends of the spectrums of hop flavors. Now it could be the same hop. And then you just you're just tasting that, but you know your palate's going to be different than mine, so you're going to actually pick up different stuff than me. Um, I think this is really good. I love um, some IPAs. I like some. I hate. I love this one. This is really good. Um, a lot of people actually hate this beer. They they do not like it at all because they're used to a traditional IPA, which kind of tastes like grapefruit to me. Um, this one is made a little bit differently. It's darker. It has it has more earthy taste to it, uh, but overall, really good. Let's give it a grade. Zero being the worst, 100 being the best. 87. Tastes really good to me. I love it. That's, that's all she wrote. So, what is your favorite IPA? Leave that in the comments below. Have you ever had any from Great Lakes? The Christmas Ale is the best from Great Lakes. That's the best thing that they make. If they made the Christmas Ale every single year and that's it, they'd stay in business. So Great Lakes Christmas Ale, you gotta try it, okay? Um, what of theirs do you like? Have you tried anything else? Leave that in the comments. Like, subscribe, share this video, share my channel. That's how this channel grows. Um, if this channel gets you know huge, then we can do some pretty cool stuff here in the brewery, okay? So there you go. 
Cheers. Try something you never had before or something you haven't tried in a year. Cheers.